let me tell you a little bit about Valencia. Um, I, I feel like um, you got to know a little bit about us. We are in Orlando, Florida. If you don't know much about us, I'm going to give you a little overview so you know what I had to deal with. And I don't mean I. What I mean is we. I couldn't do this alone. Your team that is working on this transformation and working with how to deal with all of the innovation that this college is doing can't do this alone. And you all are the ones that they are enlisting and working with to try to get this done, in addition to everybody else. Your job is so important because there is no way that a group could get this done without the help of people like yourself. So this is hugely important and I'm going to share um, just how much I felt we had to involve everybody in the process about engagement. I, I was pointing this out, math people probably find times as they're looking at this map and, and probably people that are in social sciences are looking at this and freaking out a little bit because isn't north to the south? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our marketing folks are very, very good and creative. The English folks that are looking at this and probably most of our folks that are in like the, the, the other areas are looking at this going, hey, that's pretty nice looking. <laughs> and then you've got the math and post hard science folks going, hmm, that north is to the south, that's not right. It's on the left side of the map. Oh my gosh, please do something else, right? All right, so I'm just going to go through it. Obviously, east is on the, west, the left side of the map, and west is on the, east, and the right side of the map. And here's the thing, those are our largest campuses. We have quite a few students on those campuses. Each campus has about 20,000 students on it. Um, very, very large campuses. It's huge. Um, we have the Winter Park Center, which is those of you who know Marie McClendon, who works here now, the two of us were the math department on the Winter Park campus when she was working at Valencia and I was on the Winter Park campus. So um, she is my connection to um, the Winter Park campus and she's gone too. So now I don't have, now there's a whole new department there of two people. <laughs> it's up to four. Um, anyway, so then we have the Osceola campus, which is our fastest growing campus. They're now up to about 8,000 students. So they're getting quite big. Sand Lake is our um, enterprises. It's our business and community. Uh, so this is our uh, corporate services training facility. And then we also have our criminal justice institute. Um, much like you have out here, you probably have a whole like area or something dedicated to theater or something like that because of where you are, right? We have a whole area dedicated to criminal justice. <laughs> yeah, lots of crime. <laughs> um, but we also, that means we've got lots of cops coming out too, so um, that's good news. So we have a whole criminal justice institute and um, you can see that we continue to grow and there's more campuses on the rise. Talk about uh, the Valencia demographic. I'm going to keep that up. We're going to talk about focus and scale, engagement, and commitment, meaningful data, and systemic improvement. These are the five things that must happen for real institutional transformation to occur. If you don't have one of the five things, it's not going to happen. So you have to realize that this, to me, is the secret of making it happen. And I put secrets in quotes because um, I think um, focus and scale mean different things to different people, and you'll hear our story about that. Let me talk more about the Valencia demographics. Um, our enrollment, we serve two counties. We have um, Orange County and um, Osceola County. We do have an Orange County in Florida too. I know every time you say Orange County in California, everybody goes, oh, well, and Osceola County as well. Um, you can see 49% of our students are on financial aid and there are 55,000 credit seeking students. Um, 60, 65,000 students are approximately served, right? And then we also have our fee at 30,000. People always ask me those questions and I never know those facts, so I look them up because I know that I need to share that. We are 56% female, and here is one of the big differences between us and you. Look at our demographics. We um, have Af African American is 15.9% of our student body population. Asian Pacific Islander is only 5.3%. You guys, what is yours, do you, does anybody? 34%. Um, Caucasian is 40% uh, of our population, Hispanic is 28% of our population, and when I say Hispanic, it's not typically what you, your Hispanic population is, I believe you're mostly Mexican um, in terms of coming Hispanic, is that right? Yeah. We are um, quite a few from Puerto Rico um, and a lot from South America, several different countries in South America and, um, and Cuba. Um, Full time is 45% totally shocked. I'm wondering if that's a change in the time for us. 
um, because I remember a while ago it seemed like that was a much smaller number of full time. I wonder if it's because of what's going on in the economy. So when I pulled this number, I didn't actually go back and research it. I thought this was just where we are right now. Day students, 70%, which means a lot of people are out of work. Right? Okay. And then look at this, this is the other thing, you know, when we think of community colleges, we often think of older students, right? We don't think of traditional age. So 17 to 24 year olds, 71% of our students are the 17 to 24 age group. So that's important. That also considers the dual enrollment students, the students that are taking classes at high school while in college. I mean, college while in school. So we have 64 administrators, 431 full-time faculty, uh, 231 professional staff, 623 career, career staff, and 1638 part-time staff. And that was the last time that was collected was October 2009. Don't know how much that has changed. I just looked this up to give you an idea. 